Friday at the Rogers Masters in Toronto and four mouth-watering quarterfinals featuring the top four players in the world. First up on centre court was world number four Andy Murray against David Nalbandian. Nalbandian had won both of their two previous encounters but this match turned out to be a very one-sided affair. What a shot. What a shot by Murray on the dead run. Now Bandian taking the ball nice and early, not afraid to attack. Murray took the opening set in just 31 minutes, and in the second, the Scot completely dominated proceedings. That's pretty good. It's a lovely way to finish the match. Good to fully concentrated throughout today. I guess the scoreline was uh, comfortable, but you know, there's a lot of close games, um, especially in the first set. Um, so um, a break point, 3-2. Um, we needed a chance to get back into it, and then you know, played a few juice games, 30 all points, and uh, second set was a bit more comfortable, but it's always uh, always tough against them. Next up was world number one, Rafael Nadal, against German number one, Philipp Kohlschreiber. Nadal had won all seven of their previous meetings, but in Toronto, it was the German who made the better start. Oh, it's brilliant. Especially given the circumstances. Nadal, though, finally found his rhythm in the second set. Oh, that's brilliant. Kohlschreiber didn't do too much wrong. Nadal outsmarting him for once. Nadal took the second set in 33 minutes and continued to play well in the third. Oh, cannot make that shot. It's an incredible play from Nadal. No, he didn't make it, did he? He doesn't hit this angle, does he? The ball's way behind him. to work hard for the win, Nadal. But we all know how much he enjoys the process of getting the right result. Another tough one tomorrow against Andy Murray. Sure, tomorrow going to be a, another very difficult match, more than, than the others. Uh, we repeat the semi-finals of Wimbledon, so always is a, is a pleasure and is a big challenge to play against Andy in every surprise, but I think especially here because it's his best surprise. Before that, later today is the next two quarter-finals featuring Roger Federer against Thomas Berdych and Novak Djokovic facing Jeremy Shardy. You can watch them both live on TennisTV.com.